And fellow RC enthusiasts, it's your host Tom Cogswell here for another quick hit tutorial. In this one, it's going to be real quick because we've kind of already covered this before, but I felt like you guys would like a more quick way to get into motor reversing or thrust reversing on your Spectrum radios when utilizing a Spectrum Smart Avian ESC. So most of the ESCs nowadays, the Avian ones rather, come with the update needed to activate this menu and to be able to turn on thrust reversing. But if you don't have that, go ahead and check out the video I have linked in the description below to learn how to update your ESC and to get this functionality. Also, if you've purchased a bind and fly model recently with a smart ESC that advertises that it has avian ESC thrust reversing or motor reversing or something like that, you will want to follow along in this video to learn how to turn it on. So we've been getting a lot of questions lately on how to do this. It's super simple and I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm going to show you the bulk of this on an iX20 because the screen is easier to see on our display here and uh, it just looks pretty. But I'll also kind of give you some tidbits and some snippets on how to do this with an NX radio and a DX radio. So all three versions, as long as they're a Gen 2 or in some cases a Gen 3 transmitter, this is the way that you do it. So I have a 60 amp Avian ESC here on the table and it's up to date, it's ready to go. And we have a smart capable receiver like an AR637T. Pretty much any of the current receivers today are gonna be able to have this capability. It just needs to have the little smart logo on it right there. We're gonna plug it in. Now, my receiver's already bound, but you will obviously wanna be connected, and you do have to be connected to your ESC. This function that we're talking about is a function of the telemetry menu. So, likewise, it's gonna be in the telemetry menu. It's not gonna be in forward programming. A lot of people I've been seeing saying, oh, you just have to go to forward programming to access it. That's not the case. It's not in forward programming. This is a telemetry menu. So if you're on an IX radio, you're gonna go all the way to the last page. An easy way to do that on a 20 or a 12 is to swipe this top bar here until you see the letters or the name Avian Prague here at the end. All right, so once you've tapped on that and you've gotten to this last screen, you're gonna be at the Avian Prague menu. Here you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in high rate on all your switches. And also if you're using AS3X or safe, put it in AS3X mode. So I'll go ahead and flip that switch there and all my switches are up or in the high rate menu or high rate option. And you're gonna go down into the inner corners like this for about five to 10 seconds. And this time you're gonna go out. So down and out, just like that until you see this menu here. You'll have all these options on your left-hand side. And these ones, you're gonna use your aileron and elevator stick, so your pitch and roll, to change these selections. So at first, you're gonna be in flight mode, fixed wing. That's obvious, we wanna leave that there. And we're gonna change the brake type to reverse. So you have a few options. You got disabled, normal, proportion, and reverse. This will activate the reversing capability on your ESC. So after you've selected your brake type as reverse, the next thing to do is to change the brake force. What I would recommend going to is brake force seven. So you're just gonna move your selection to the right and you're gonna keep going until you see the number seven, which is the highest number available to us. When you're done with that, we're gonna go down to our next page and we're gonna keep on pushing the stick, elevator stick up or down rather, uh, as the selection, the little arrow will move with it every time you go full stick. And we're gonna keep going, and after you pass the last selection, it'll go to the next page. And we're gonna go down to, and you'll see one that says thrust reverse, or thrust rev. So this is the channel, essentially, that it's going to be listening to from your radio system to tell the motor to go in reverse. It's extremely important that this channel is not something that's used by another function such as ailerons or flaps or safe. And we'll go over that in a little bit more detail here in a second. But again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that out of the 
four channels that you have to choose from, or maybe five actually, yeah, five channels you have to f choose from, channel five up to nine, it's not being used by another function. Very important, you could crash your airplane if you don't know what you're doing at this point. So channel seven is always a good one to use. Most uh, four or five channel, six channel planes are not gonna be using channel seven for anything beyond that, but you can use up to channel nine. So in our case, let's go ahead and use channel seven. Once you're done with all three of those steps in the avian prog menu, you're gonna go down to exit with save. When you hit exit with save, you go full right. Just like that, the ESC will reboot like you heard there and the motor will do its arming tones. Okay, so we're good there. So what do we do next? It's not the last step. We're most of the way there. But what I would do is go to the monitor screen. You're gonna flip your switches and see which one is on AUX2 or channel seven. As you'll see on my monitor screen, AUX2 is channel seven. That's what we had assigned to the thrust reverse channel on our ESC. Du like I said, double check that that channel is not something that's used by another function. Or if you wanna change what switch that is, we're gonna go to model setup. And then if you guys are using this on a DX radio or an NX radio, you're gonna go to the system setup menu and you're gonna go down to channel assign like we do here. Channel assign. This will turn off the RF on your receiver, so don't worry about that. And you're gonna look at the selections that you have available to you. AUX2, or channel seven, is set to switch F. If I wanted to change that to a different switch to reverse my, my, uh, my motor, I could. I could put it on the A switch if I like. So I just flipped this switch, Joe switch A, and I flipped the switch, or you can select it out of the drop down there. And now switch A is my channel seven, thrust reverse switch. All right, so we're gonna throttle up a little bit. We're gonna flip the switch, and you'll see that my motor went one direction and then the other. But here's another thing. Let's say when you throttle up and your switch is away from you or in the position that you would expect to be forward throttle and it would make your plane go forward, what if the motor's going backwards? There's an easy way to fix that. What you're gonna do, you're gonna to go to model adjust, go to servo setup, and then if you're on a, an NX radio or a DX radio, just go to the main screen, click the scroll wheel, and go to servo setup, and you're gonna reverse that channel. So, AUX2 was the channel that we used for thrust reverse. We're just gonna reverse it right there. So that's one thing to remember about reversing the motor physically, like if it's going the wrong direction according to what switch position it is, you reverse it in the servo setup menu and not reverse it with uh, your ESC programmer or via the two wires. I mean, you could with the two wires, but it's just that simple. Just do it right there and you're good to go. Again, everything that I just explained to you guys here is applicable to the DX and the NX radios. As long as it's a Gen 2 radio that can see smart telemetry and use text gen programming, which is what Avian Prog is based on, then you will be able to do this. If you guys are having trouble with that, again, check out my other video. It goes into this in much more detail, kind of explains how to update, how to use the Avian Prog menu overall. I'm gonna have that in the comments below. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions for more Spectrum how-to videos, leave those in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching. This is Tom signing off and happy flying.